Well, hey, Libra, how about a reading from your metal dog? It is Cardinal Signs weekend, and that means you. And we're going to be looking at a change coming in because out there in the heavens, Uranus is getting involved. Mars is getting involved. Venus is out there trying to soften it all, but especially happening in the fixed signs, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio and Leo. We've got a full moon in Leo. We're going to see change coming, change resisted. <laughs> What's happening in Libra's life? Where is the change in Libra's life? Let's see here. We have somewhere in your sense of security, Queen of Pentacles. You're a very beautiful, practical life. Libras, you know about beauty. And this is one beautiful queen of pentacles in this guardian of the night tarot. Very, it's like a lot of that Venus, Mars energy. Venus is in Pisces. Um, Mars is in Gemini and has just gone direct. So we're supposed to be just feeling like a pickup of energy and inevitable change. Okay. It looks like something in your sense of security and in, in your 3D life. And your abundance is is about to change and with it underlying energies big energies of change yeah six of swords this is changing your mind could be literally moving but um, swords are your mind so moving from thoughts and stories and paradigms that are disturbing it looks like there is going to be a putting down of a burden as a result of that. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. I tend to read this as change coming in your favor. But it is a change of fortune. So there's lots of change. Um, that's what the reading's about. It's um, big. It's divinely supported. Um, it almost feels like you've been waiting for this change, Libra. Um, because this Ten of Wands is like, you've completed a task and, and you get to quit your job, right? It's like these salmon are spawning. It's a pretty um, hard path to swim upstream to lay your eggs. Um, I used to live by a river and see how battered the salmon were. So I just, I really think that's a great way to represent the Ten of Wands. Well, we're gonna ask some questions, Libra. And uh, let's find out more about this change to your Queen of Pentacles stuff, your security, sense of worth. It's some something in your in your mind, your your air, Six of Swords. That's your that's your your um, element, Libra, and that's where we're going to see some change um, occurring that appears to affect your sense of worth and security. Okay, we're gonna ask five questions. The first question, Libra, is what you already guessed was gonna change. You've had a sense, an intuition, some kind of high priestess awareness. Um, and if you haven't, don't worry about it, but we are often aware. So there's that six of swords again, same as the turtle. So you know that, there, that there's something in your mind and your stories and your concepts and your paradigms that needs to change. It could be out there, you know, the big concepts. I guess I think of that, the big concepts because of this big supporting energy. And then here's you small in the, in the midst of it. But you, this is also about being helped to, to this change. So divine support for that. Yeah, I really see this um, mountain diamond shape in the background more than normal okay what is hidden from you that you didn't guess ah self-sovereignty nine of materials that's great yeah so this helps me understand like if this is a change like the queen of pentacles she kind of needs a partner right so she's she i call her the security queen she kind of needs a king of pentacles the Nine of Materials is very different from that. It's very much like, I'm good on my own. I make everything I need. I 
meet my own needs. I am sovereign of myself. It doesn't mean you're alone, but it can mean. But it definitely means that you, you're in your mind. You can see this, this six of swords or six of voices. It's a shift where you um, can see that you, you're putting it all together yourself, right? Okay. What habits, things, people you cling to? Hmm. So the two of materials, more earth pentacles energy. And we can see you kind of clinging to balance. That's uh, your card is justice. So this would be like in that area, a kind of, but it could be a feeling of juggling. So for some reason, it's like you're having trouble making up your mind. So a six of voices would suggest a shift um, where you're juggling the practical realm. We'll clarify and see and see what's going on with that. What are the benefits of this change? Three of inspiration. This is you manifested something and then you just watch the dominoes fall. So it's going to bring in something that you've envisioned. Um, if you, this change, which is inevitable with the wheel of fortune here, this change of your mind is, you think it's a change of your mind. It's also going to be a change of your practical 3d circumstances. All right. Um, but you manifested this. And so this change will bring in that vision, make it, making it real. What's the future for Libra future for Libra seven of voices. This says, uh, to me, like. I'm not going to get to know the future. Seven of Voices, it's a secret. Something hidden. We will clarify and see if we can find out more about that. It's a strange future. Underlying energy here. Libra is the muse of emotions. It's the king of emotions. Deep feelings that you keep to yourself. So there is something, that, and that goes with that Seven of Voices. There's something that's private here in the feelings. Uh, we'll see if we can find out more about that upon clarification. All right, I think we have a sense of what's going on here. Let's see what we can clarify. So what you sensed <laughs> to be repetitive about this Queen of Pentacles change. What did you already know coming into this full moon in Leo time? There's the practical Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Okay. Yeah, I do. I feel like your, your life, your really 3D life is going to change, Libra. And you've sensed that. <laughs> wow. It's coming in repetitively. The Six of Swords. This is the Six of Voices. This is the third time. You need to change your mind. You know that. About your practical life. And, oh, there is... This is why, because what's happening is you're not feeling abundant. You're feeling lack. You're feeling left out. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. And that's a perspective that needs to shift. Um, so in order to, so you know you need to change your mind about your Pentacles, about how you make a living, about your security, and because you feel insecure. Um, you actually are... You don't believe in yourself here. That's what I think. And and that's why what's hidden from you is that you are sovereign in your own life. You don't need a king of pentacles. You're good on your own. And, you, and this is hidden from you. So let's clarify that. Nine of materials or nine of pentacles. Uh, star, wish fulfillment and healing is, is yours. Divine support for this. Uh, inspiration, a message, an action, and, ooh, an ending. There's a change. It's a card about change. It's in your mind. Swords. But it's like, this is dead. It's over, and you know it. These thoughts, <laughs> they killed whatever it was. There's a lot of it's kind of chilly in here. Um, yeah, this is hidden from you. You're divinely supported. Some kind of action or message is coming in. And you don't actually see yet that it's over. This 
train of thought, this paradigm is over, the way you thought things were, the way... It could also be... I guess I just feel like, this may not be all of you, but there's some relationship that she depends upon for her security, right? This over. And the reason it's over is it, and you already know this, is that this is how you feel in it. It needs to be over. So you need to move on. Um, Six of Voices is here three times. It's like you're disturbed, your waters, your emotions are disturbed, right? This is, um, so the waters are disturbed by your mind because the thoughts are disturbing. So you need to change your mind so that you can be at peace. Uh, so there needs to be an ending and a change uh, to how your mind is really disturbing you. Why you don't? Because you're balancing these really practical concerns. You're just like really caught up in the practical too much. God, the devil is here all the time here. Self-defeating thoughts. Yeah. Addiction. Codependence. Oh. Coming up in all of my readings, Libra. So, no shame. So, what are these habits? The two materials. It's like a little flirty lightweight love kind of lighthearted sweet it's a sweetness um seven of wands resistance it's kind of like having the light being good in the darkness lighting up the darkness standing out against the willpower of others you you're strong in your will <laughs> father of swords there's the truth right that's your mind. Your father's sword's smart guy. He knows how to connect the waters and the airs, the heart and the mind. Um, he, I love his face. He's like, oh yeah, it isn't easy, right? <laughs> These are your habits. It's like you need to face the truth that... It's like you're not really taking seriously how this Daughter of Cups, your heart, gets limited by this practice of being overly practical. And that's the truth. That's why the King, the Father of Swords is like looking at you like that. Like, um, here's your liberty. The truth gives you liberty. <laughs> this new way of looking at you and your life and your power but you might not like it because you're really kind of avoiding it you're resistant to your own heart what your heart knows because you're afraid you're just too caught up in the practical i don't know take or leave that libra it's coming in pretty clearly i feel like you're you're free and you don't know it your wish fulfillment is right there and your self-sovereignty is right there but there's something that you have to, that you you know, for good reason, we we carry these burdens. And um, you've carried this burden, and it's over. And um, the benefit is you do have a vision. You're waiting for it to come in. It looks like this change brings us in. So what is this? There's your ten of wands again, right? The salmon. Okay, you get to put down that burden. That's good. I want you to put down that burden in this reading, Libra. Justice, you. That's your card. The beautiful um, earth and rainbows and the transgender flag there and two little kitty cats conspiring to make the world just. That's your card. That's your vision. We justice in your life and your love. There's a burden that's preventing you from that. There's your wheel of fortune. This is Beautiful change in your favor. Wow, and it can be on any scale, Libra. Your card is justice. Um, so it could be you, you're freed, you become you as a result of this change, and this is a part of what you have envisioned. Um, but luck is going to support you in that. You're going to be fortunate. So if you're worried about pentacles, fortune's coming in. It's here twice, the Wheel of Fortune. I, I rarely read it as that, but like... What I wanted to say is, like, don't worry about money. The cards say fortune is yours. It's yours. And with it, you. You get to be you. And you're free of 
of this dependence, this security need that really is making you feel a lack of security. And you need, you need to put down that and walk towards that rainbow. Okay. Wow. Awesome. So your future. Seven of voices. It's kind of hidden. Unknown. Um, that's a card of... Uh, it's not a very good card. There's some kind of self-defeating thought in the future. Or a lie. Or a theft. Um, but I'm kind of reading it as like... Let's find out more from the cards, okay? Because it, it feels like I just don't know what it is, right? Because everything else here is really beautiful. We see you building with others, and three of pentacles, and that is the kind of, um, everybody has a skill and, and a knowledge, and they bring it, and they create something real in the world out of a vision, and I see your vision here. Um, balance, generosity, six of pentacles. Very practical. Again, there's like lots of pentacles and building something new and security here in your future. Yeah. And an eight of pentacles. More practical. A new skill, a new job, new career. Huh. Why is that under the seven of voices? It's just like such a practical, earthy, um, generous, wealthy making real a vision kind of future. Let me see. It's a, I guess I think you don't really know what it... There's something that you don't know about what this is yet. Because, like, you can see the fox girl going into that... through that tunnel, through that door, into that beautiful new place, and it's kind of unknown. It's like I almost feel like you don't, again, you don't know something yet. It's unknown. Like you don't know what your new pentacle making path is. We just see that your self sovereignty is already here and you're divinely supported, and that the old way that you've been making yourself feel safe is over. Um, yeah, that's a very sweet Daughter of Pentacles on the bottom. It's a new, practical, 3D beginning for Libra. But you have to give up what you've depended on until now. And that's not easy. But it is going to free you to be yourself. And the, there's fortune for you ahead. Um, you've envisioned this and your vision is coming in and it's very, very practical. So if you're caught up in the practical, you could also trust that this inevitable change will will help you in a very practical way. And it, and it appears it liberates you from something that has not felt good, that has felt like this. Um, and the way that that liberation is through the process of, of changing your mind, changing your worldview, um, or something like that. I'm putting down a burden in the process. So good luck with this Libra. Let me know. I hope this helps. Have a beautiful day.